Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing good and I hope you checked out my last video on cucumber juice. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Juice and Foods. On this channel, I make wonderful juice and food recipes. So please hit the subscribe button and also the bell button so you do not miss any of my new videos. So today I have an exquisite, very special immune booster tea recipe for you. Guys, let me tell you, it's amazing. I've always wanted to make this tea and share my recipe with you all. So here goes. But anyway, first of all, there's a backstory to this tea. I lived some time in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and there was this popular cafe. I won't name it. But yeah, um, they had this tea on their menu. I always used to ignore it as I wasn't so keen on it. Long story short, one day I decided to try it out and it tasted really nice. Ever since then, I was quite hooked. I asked one of the waiters what was in the tea and he told me most of the ingredients. I've never made it for myself until some months ago where I decided to try it out. I also added uh, one of my own ingredients and created my recipe from it. So yeah, it's an amazing tea and especially poignant during this period where we all need to watch our health and continue to boost our immune system. First, I'm going to start by peeling my pineapple. Sorry about my shiny knife. I think there was an issue with the light in there. Then I'm going to cut it to pieces, ready for juicing. After cutting the pineapple to pieces, I rinse them and set aside. Okay, that's done. I'm going to set it aside and then I'm going to start on my oranges. I'm going to cut all the oranges in half because I'm going to hand juice them. I think I have about 11 oranges. There we go. My oranges are looking so nice and orange. <laughs> then I'm going to start juicing them manually.
My first batch is ready. I'm just going to pour that in a container and begin the next batch. Okay, second batch is ready too. I'm going to pour that in. And third batch. That's ready too. Okay. So now I'm just going to um, remove some of the smaller seeds that slip through my juicer. And then I'm going to set my orange juice aside. So there you have the pineapple, the orange juice. Next, I move on to the lines. I cut them in half and hand juice them as well. This was a little tough because, you know, the limes are small. I had to really work on my grip game or my holding game. Okay, I'm finished with that. There's my lime, lime juice. Then I move on to peeling the ginger roots. I'm going to peel three medium-sized ginger roots. Funny thing is, you know, before I wasn't so keen on ginger, but now I add it to all my juices. Okay, now that's done. I'm going to also peel my turmeric root. I'm going to use just one. But guys, be careful. Turmeric stains everything in its path. Like I said, I'm only using one. Okay, guys. There it is. I have my pineapple, orange juice, lime juice, and my ginger and one turmeric root. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly juice my pineapples, the ginger and turmeric roots as well. Okay, there's the ginger root. Like I said before, you know guys, be careful of the turmeric. It stained my juicer. I'm still trying to get it off.
Okay, so my juice cup is full. I'm going to pour out the first batch. It's a mixture of pineapple, ginger, and turmeric. And then I'm going to continue and finish the next batch, which is just pineapples. Okay guys, that's the last batch. So there we have it. We have the lime juice, the pineapple, that's the pineapple mixture with the turmeric and ginger. And then I have my orange juice. So guys, we're set. Now comes the cooking. So I'm going to put, pour in the orange juice. I'm going to pour two cups of orange juice into a saucepan or a pot. I'm going to keep it on medium heat and mix it well. Then I'm going to pour four cups of the pineapple, ginger, and turmeric mixture. I'm going to pour in one fourth of a cup of the lime juice. Then I'm going to add one cup of water. And then I'm going to leave it on medium heat or until it begins to boil, which took like 10 minutes for me. I mix it often because it can get frothy on top. Now, while you want it to boil, you don't want it to boil over. So keep an eye on it and adjust the heat accordingly. Okay, you can see it's beginning to boil. Just mix the froth in. Okay, then I'm going to add two tablespoons of honey. That is natural honey or organic honey, should I say. And then let it boil for two more minutes. Okay, then I turn off the fire and the tea is ready, guys. It looks so good. <laughs> then I'm going to pour some of the tea in a mug using my spoon. Okay, voila guys, the immune booster fruit tea is ready. It's so wonderful guys, so nice. Please do try it out, you will love it. 
No sophisticated ingredients, all normal stuff you'll find in the market, yet very healthy and needed during this period. And also if you've got a cold, you can drink this tea. It gives a relief. So please guys, give this video a thumbs up. If you like it, do share it and also leave me a comment. Tell me how your own turns out when you make it and subscribe. Okay. And I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Ciao.